Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Senator TV video production program. I'm Lucas Salzenbaugh. And I'm Joshua Wright. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. After the regular St. Mary's County Commissioners meeting on Tuesday, the board met in a closed executive session and then reconvened to vote on the salary increases for the county administrator and several county department heads that total more than $4,100 annually. In a 3-2 vote, commissioners approved 2.5% increases for the department heads to get their raise from, in their pay ranging from $3,175 to $4,577. The St. Mary's School Board got its first look at a proposed $234 million operating budget for the fiscal 2021 year, proposed by Superintendent Smith, and requests for 5.6% increase for more employees and raises for bus drivers. The increase includes more money for contracted bus driver rates. 10 new safety and security assistants, and more staff for the Special Education Department, according to a presentation at Wednesday's school board meeting. Of the $234 million budget, 93% goes to salaries, wages, and fixed charges like health care, retirement, and Social Security. St. Mary's School Board members' opinions were conflicting when it came to the start date for the 2020-2021 to school year, but one thing they did agree on was to avoid starting after Labor Day. Jeff Mayer, the school system's chief strategic officer, presented both the 2020-2021 to and 2021-2022 to calendar recommendations at a school board meeting on Wednesday based on suggestions from the system's calendar committee and results of a survey. The St. Mary's County delegation convened last Friday to vote on their stance on a number of bill proposals that had been brought forth by the St. Mary's County Commissioners last October, voting in favor to advance just seven of the 18 proposed. Delegates and the state senator representing St. Mary's voted unanimously within a closed meeting January 10th on all 18 bills proposed by the commissioners. According to Delegate Matt Morgan, bills proposed that were struck down ranged from bond initiatives to debt coupling. Delegate Matt Morgan says many of the bills agreed upon seek to increase accountability and visibility of the board and its decisions. Great Mills girls basketball used a strong fourth quarter to rally past North Point, moving to a 12-0 score overall. The Hornets girls had reached ahead early into the game but slowed to a crawl coming into halftime with North Point tying Great Mills at 17 points. In the last half, the Great Mills swung back and by the fourth quarter hit back and ended the game 30-27. to This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Salzenbaugh. And I'm Joshua Wright. Signing off.